a little bit about how to really anoint your home. Um, you know, there's so many people that are calling themselves cleaning their home, cleansing their home, making the um the en energy free and all this stuff, saging. Listen, that's a source of sorcery. That's witchcraft. I don't care about the comments. I don't care about what you're saying. I know what I'm saying. That's not biblical. And to you people that are saying that you believe in God and you're calling on the name of Jesus, you cannot be doing that. You cannot serve two masters. There's nowhere in the Bible where it says to burn sage. But it does say that witches have sorcery books and things of that nature. That's I'm telling you, you you're you bringing on unwanted spirits. That's why when you think about it, what's really being cleansed? There's still drama. But when you anoint your home, let me tell you something that I know. Nobody comes in my house that doesn't mean me no good i have watched people go just like that and can't go over the, the doorstep like this i'm like come in they like oh i'm good right here you know why because i plead the blood of jesus over my house so i just want to show you guys a little bit um just come with me now it's simple it's easy we ain't doing no hookah hookah stuff over here olive oil okay this is olive oil i cook with the olive oil all that Plain no olive oil. I like to use olive oil because in the Bible they always talk about um, pressing the olives and things of like that. So it's sacred, you know. So what I do is I always do pray before I do it. So I'm going to do everything that I usually do. And I'm anointing my home as we speak right now and just to show you. So Father God, I just come to you right now, God. Oh God, I pray in the mighty name of Jesus, Father God, that anybody that's watching this, Lord, that they will learn how to have a real relationship with you, Father God. That they will denounce all of that demonic activity that they're doing. Oh God, I pray that no one will come in this home that is not of you. Oh God, I pray that everyone in this home will be saved, sanctified, Father God, in great health, Father God, have great understanding. Oh God, let no one come before this home that's not of you, Father God. In the mighty name of Jesus, I plead the blood of Jesus over my house, Father God. We thank you, Father God, that COVID won't hit this house, Father God. We thank you, Father God, that poverty won't hit this house. Father God, we thank you that there will be no lack in this house. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen. So then after I do that, I would take a little bit and I just put it on my forehead and I just say, in the mighty name of Jesus, Father God, just cleanse me from the top of my head to the soles of my feet. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus. So I anointed my head. Then I go right here to my doorknobs. And I, I usually just put like a cross. I'm extra like that. But you can just tap it. But I usually just do a little cross. Symbolic of um, Jesus Christ um, on the cross. And I say, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, let no one come into this home, God. Protect this home, Father God. Nourish this home in Jesus' mighty name. And then I open it. And I do this part. And then I go up here, I do that, I do that part, this. Sometimes I just come out and you know, I do this. But this way, it's symbolic. Now this way, no one will come in here that means me no good. I'm telling you, this is what I do. I'm telling you, this is not witchcraft. This is not sorcery. This is biblical. When the death angel came and, and, and they were killing, they were killing, I believe, the, the firstborns or something like that, or um, anybody who didn't have the, 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 the lamb, the blood lamb on their door, amen? So when you put the, when you put in the olive oil, it's just a representation of Jesus' blood. He already died for you at Calvary. And the truth be told, all you have to do is declare and decree in faith. All you have to do is say in the mighty name of Jesus, my, ho my house is clear. My house is clean. May no one come in this home that's not of you. And it's done. Your faith. We live by faith. You don't have to be doing that. First of all, the devil ain't even giving you something that smells good. And yes, I'm a little uh, um, hyped up because I'm annoyed. He can't even give you some good incense. He's giving you stinking sage. That stinks when you burn it. But anyway... So for you who want to anoint your home, I just gave you a brief description of what you can do. If you're looking for a Bible-based church, you can follow my um my private, um, I mean, I'm sorry, my church page on YouTube. It's called Fallon Brown. And if you want to continue to see how a beautiful diva like me <laughs> prayed up, Foul BTV. Subscribe and hit the notification bell. But all jokes aside, I pray that this bless you. You know, I just gave you just a brief description and I'll finish anointing my house. Um, but I usually, um, what I'm going to do is I go to the rooms. I do the kids' doorknobs. I anoint the, my children's head. I'm about to anoint my son's head that's um, holding a camera for me. And that's what you do. You can anoint your head with oil. That's biblical. When kings were, were, um, were brought up and, and, and things of that nature, uh, um, the, the prophets anointed their head with oil. 
you. Amen. So if you want to do something, anoint your house. Let's make that the trend. Let's anoint our home in the mighty name of Jesus and stop doing that foolery. And you wonder why we in bondage because you're around here doing that foolery, serving other gods. Get back to the main God. Get back to Jesus. Pray to slay. I love you to health. Listen, um, if you guys looking to lose weight and things of that nature, hit the description. You can see um, my, my businesses and, and my books in that nature. But again, this is just to teach you. And don't come on this page bashing and, and trying to do all that foolery. Because listen here, you're going to get blocked. I'm not even going to argue with you. I don't argue with people that's not even half of me. I'm trying to teach you something so you can protect your home. The devil is tormenting you with lies. That is sorcery. You a witch. Are you a witch and a warlock? Because if you're a witch and a warlock, then keep on doing it. But if you say that you are a kingdom builder and that you live for Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ lives in you and you are powered by the Holy Spirit, then you will cover your home and you anoint your head. Amen. I love you. I'm out.